Imagine you have just taken off on your flight and are heading up through the clouds, when suddenly a bolt of lightning strikes the plane and you hear a loud bang, which startles people who may let out screams of fear. I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. Oh, down, get a hold of yourself. In moments like this, it's easy to think the worst and to think the plane may crash. So what exactly happens when lightning hits a plane? Lightning strikes are not as dangerous as they sound. Every commercial aircraft is struck by lightning approximately once per year on average. But this frequency varies depending on factors like flight routes, weather conditions, and the number of flights per year. The Federal Aviation Administration estimates that a typical commercial plane is struck by lightning once for every 1,000 flight hours. Lightning strikes are more common during climb and descent when aircraft pass through weather systems with electrically charged clouds. When a plane flies through a highly charged area, it can cause a disturbance in the electrical field. This disturbance may trigger a lightning strike from the cloud directed towards the plane. But planes at cruising altitude are less likely to be struck since they often fly above the majority of thunderstorms. But they can still encounter lightning near the tops of storm clouds. While lightning strikes may alarm passengers, serious accidents caused by lightning are incredibly rare. And lightning strikes really aren't all that unusual, even though they do look dramatic to, uh, for any pictures that you might have seen out there. I've certainly experienced uh, lightning strike in my time uh, flying, but uh, all we did notice was uh, a quick flash, nothing dramatic and really the airplane was completely unaffected. So believe it or not, the aircraft is actually designed to be struck by lightning. It's designed so the electricity path will flow through the structure of the aircraft and out what we call study quicks. So every aircraft is fitted with study quicks, normally on the trailing edges. Um, they're designed to dissipate the build-up of static electricity, which happens naturally through the friction of the air on the aircraft. And also in a lightning strike situation, they will dissipate the lightning strike energy as well. Normally, they'll do a pretty good job of it, and there won't be any issues. The last significant accident attributed to lightning occurred in 1967, when lightning ignited fuel vapors in a plane causing it to crash. However, aircraft design standards have since improved dramatically, and modern planes are now built to safely handle lightning strikes. Most lightning strikes cause only minor cosmetic damage, like burn marks at the entry or exit points, typically entering through the nose or wingtips and exiting through the tail or another extremity, and rarely lead to major system failures or engine damage. The body of an airplane is primarily made of conductive materials like aluminum, which acts as a Faraday cage. The electrical charge from the lightning travels around the outer surface of the plane, preventing it from entering the cabin, safeguarding the passengers and crew. Plus, critical engine systems and electronic controls are shielded to protect them from electrical surges and have multiple backups and redundancies. So even if one system is disrupted, others can maintain engine operation. Aircraft parts such as wingtips, nose, tail, and fuselage are tested in special high-voltage laboratories. These labs simulate the electrical energy of a lightning strike to test how well the materials and components can handle being struck. Researchers observe how the lightning travels across the surface and verify that the energy safely disperses without damaging critical parts. But even though planes are designed to withstand a lightning strike, they are also fitted with static discharges or static wicks. You will find metal strips on the nose of airplanes and small rods on the wings and wingtips. Their primary purpose is to dissipate static electricity that builds up on the aircraft during flight due to friction with the air. In extremely rare cases, lightning could disrupt the airflow through the engine, causing a temporary flame-out, which is the loss of combustion. Modern engines, however, have automatic restart mechanisms to recover quickly if this happens. So in conclusion, while a lightning strike can be alarming to the passengers, most planes experience no lasting damage due to modern design features, shielding and redundant systems and serious engine failure due to lightning is extremely rare.